You guys asked for it, so I'm supplying the content. Here it is, we're going to be talking about the rules for the Build Divide trading card game. So this is a game that came out quite a little while ago in terms of news, I think it was like middle of 2020 or something where they said that Aniplex would be working on a trading card game with the guy who designed the original draft for Cardfight Vanguard and I was pretty excited considering the fact that obviously I like Cardfight Vanguard. However, I was a little skeptical considering the fact that Aniplex was the one behind the creation of this game. For those of you who don't know, Aniplex is a anime production company that is focused on producing and distributing many popular anime. Chances are, if you can think of an anime, they've probably been involved with its production in some way or another. I can put a few examples on the screen right here. And so, to me, them wanting to suddenly go into the trading card game amidst a pandemic felt like a... a desperate move, like trying to market or capitalize off of an already established market and go, hey, that seems pretty easy, we can join too because we're a big corporation. But I still wanted to give it a chance because obviously you shouldn't make, you know, giant assumptions over something that has near no information about it. So I was like, you know what, we'll wait a little bit, see what comes of the game, see what news we can get. And you know what, sometimes you should just trust your first instinct because man, Ah, boy, we're gonna talk about those rules today. The rules were released a little while ago, and I wanted to wait until all of the starter deck cards came out before I actually talked about the rules, considering that, you know, the card design can also make the game pretty valuable. Even if your rules are incredibly flawed, you can still make a pretty entertaining game, Digimon being a prime example. I think the rules for that game are incredibly terrible, but the card design makes for some very entertaining gameplay. However, now that we've seen the cards, and we've learned that literally the main protagonist deck is entirely focused on RNG, and that the other deck is focused on, well, big number go burr, uh, I can very safely say that I think now is a good time to talk about the rules of the game. So, in front of me, I have a translation document provided by Freedom Duo. You should go check out his blog. He makes uh, update posts on basically every card game you can think of. And, uh, yeah, I'll be reading from there and talking about the game as we go. So, you need to have a 40 to 50 card deck. You can play a minimum of 40 or a maximum of 50. You can play up to four copies of one card. So far, this sounds, you know, pretty, uh, pretty standard. And there are three types of cards in the game that you can add to your deck. The first are unit cards. The second are command cards. And the third, which I believe is the game's most interesting mechanic, the territory cards. Each unit and command card has a cost on the upper left side of the card, with the amount of colored mana that, or energy that you have to pay for it and the amount of generic energy that you can pay for it using cards in your resource row or your energy zone. If this is starting to sound like literally every other trading card game ever, just you wait, you'll see exactly what's going on here in a little bit. They also have a power level as well as a critical value, and this critical value will determine how many points of life it takes out when it strikes a player. This is a lot like Buddy Fight in terms of how the combat works, you know, the power is for battling with monsters against monsters and the critical is for dealing damage to the opponent. Very simple stuff. Not very, not, not really a novel idea, like Buddy Fight wasn't the first idea to come up with this, but they, bu Buddy Fight did it in a very elegant and interesting way, so maybe this game will do it, so we'll, we'll, we'll talk more about the, the combat system as, uh, as we go on, cause, um, spoiler alert, it doesn't get any better from here. <laughs> now, commands obviously do not have a power and critical value, and that's because that they are spell cards that you cast once, and then they go to your graveyard or cemetery after being used. Now, the territory cards are where things get very interesting. These cards begin at the start of the game, down on the field and they have a unit card depicted on their backside. If you summon a unit whose name matches the territory's name, you flip the territory over and the territory is active for the rest of the game. So basically, if you play your ace card or your main monster, you know, ace, ace monster, your, your key card essentially is what it comes down to, you flip the territory over and you have a lingering effect active for the rest of the game and depending on how many territories they make and how often these are becoming a, uh, become a thing, I'm actually I'm actually a huge fan of this mechanic. I really like the idea of your uh, ace monster, even when it leaves the field, giving you a little gift. I think it's better done than the buddy system from Buddy Fight, honestly. That's the second comparison to Buddy Fight I've made. This game's a lot different than Buddy Fight, but the point I'm trying to make here is that I think that if the buddy system were like this, uh, buddy Fight would have been very interesting, but I'm glad that we get to see it in a different game. Uh, this is certainly uh, a very interesting take on it. Uh, maybe like we could have territories in the future that are like different territories for each ace monster, so you can choose a territory or maybe we just make an influx of territories because my one concern is that territories will only be limited to a very specific kind or type of monster and so people who want to like build out you know think outside the box and make these interesting decks uh, will have to cram four copies of like an ace monster from the tv show in just so that they can get a territory effect because 
you these are lingering effects that last for the rest of the duel so like you know passing up passing on them is like kind of not an option uh, even if it's a minor effect, it can definitely probably uh, change how the game is played and sway the tides into your favor. So I really think that as long as they print a lot of territories and make them a common occurrence, that this mechanic is totally fine and it will probably make the game a lot more interesting. To play a game of Build Divide, you and your opponent sit down, you shuffle up your deck, blah, 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 put it down, and then you draw five cards for your opening hand. And there is a mulligan, so you basically get to filter out what you get to put your deck hand back and draw again. Uh, after you've done your mulligan, though, you put the top 10 cards of your deck into your life zone. 10 in the red area and 10 in the yellow area. And there are cards that depend that will activate or have effects depending on what area your life is. So when you take damage using the critical value on the unit cards that I spoke about earlier, you will discard a card from your life area and put it into your graveyard. And it has to be from the yellow area if you do not have if you have a card in your yellow area. Uh, and then you start taking damage from your red area afterwards. This, um, I don't like the life system at all. Uh, it, the reason why Duel Masters' shield system is so amazing, uh, is because even if there isn't a trigger there, which there are shield triggers in this game, by the way, uh, even if there isn't a trigger there, the shield system still gives the player who is being attacked a card, so there's always kind of an incentive to not attack, because, like, let's take Digimon as a game, for example, a game where the life also goes to the graveyard. In Digimon, there were many cases where I was like, why would I not attack here? Like, I take out a life point, and if they get a trigger, oh well, I'm not gonna gamble, I'm not gonna, like, be, be scared of random chance, because, like, what if it's not there? Then I get a huge benefit. In Duel Masters, if there isn't a trigger there, you're still giving your opponent a card in hand, and that can actually be rather terrifying and could cost you the game. So every attack mattered, even if there were no triggers. But the instant you start making it so that they don't plus you when you take damage is when the game becomes trigger reliant, kind of like Vanguard in my opinion. Like, it's gonna become, if you get triggers, you survive, and if you don't, you just die. And that makes the game very RNG, and I'm not a huge fan of that. However, this is a mechanic I am a huge fan of. After you put your shields down, you put the top two cards of your deck into your energy zone. So you start out with some energy, and you start out with some mana, and so you don't have to worry about this whole, hold swords, hold pass. And your opponent goes, hold charge, hold pass. And then you go, Hold charge. Hold pass. You skip that little space, because every card game involving a mana zone kind of has it, so... <laughs> you don't have to worry about that in this game. Uh, but this is worth noting. Um, five cards in your starting hand, ten cards in your life area, two cards in your mana zone. That is already 17 cards taken out of your possibly 40 card deck or your 50 card deck. There's still a huge number of cards that you lose from the start of the game. Uh, and you can't get back the shields in any way other unless you're playing a color that does so. So most decks will have 12 cards removed from their deck at the start of the game. 12 cards. That is a huge, 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 huge number. And I'm not a fan of this. I really don't like how, again, the cards go to the graveyard when they're removed from life. Because, again, uh, what if all four of my win condition go in there? And it's very possible that a good chunk of my win conditions go in there because of 10 life being a thing. I don't know, it's just something to think about. Like, if you've ever seen Kodok's video on life decking, uh, I know he's not a huge Vanguard fan. Don't comment down below because I'm aware it doesn't change that he's correct on this thing. No one likes life decking or milling because people see cards that go to the graveyard and they go, Dang, I, I could have used that card. That would have been really helpful to have. And it's a bad feeling. Uh, and this is going to have that, but it's 10 times. So, uh, however, and <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna need a drink of water for this one. Aquafina, huh? That's good stuff. There is a kind of trigger that you are required to play 16 of in your deck. And that's the <laughs> that's the buster trigger. Now, the, re <laughs> the reason I'm laughing is because this trigger says, when it is sent to the graveyard because it was checked from your life area, you take another damage. That's it. So shield triggers from Duel Masters are a mechanic that uh, basically say when it's checked as a shield, you can play it for free. And it's a little cool effect like summoning a creature or maybe drawing a card, getting some extra mana, stuff like that. Here, it deals you damage. <laughs> your life points are determined by RNG. And you are required to play 16 of these. And it's not like they're broken cards, so there's a, it's like, oh, if I draw them in my hand, they're amazing. If they're my shield, they're terrible. 
No, they're just like your average card with a semi-okay effect sometimes. It's just you have to play 16 of them because they're trying to make critical triggers, but wrong this time around. There are, of course, actual shield triggers in the form of what are called shot triggers, and shot triggers are actually really cool in my opinion. It's literally just dual master shield triggers, and I've always been a fan of that mechanic. However, shot triggers are not counted toward your 16 buster trigger lineup. These are extra, so if you want to play shot triggers, you have to play them in addition to the 16 buster triggers. This is starting to sound like a lot for a 40 to 50 card deck, isn't it? And that's kind of the concern I have. Buster triggers are a giant meme, I understand the guy who made the game is like obsessed with RNG related comeback mechanics, but this ain't it, chief. This game is trying to market itself as like the next pinnacle step in competitive trading card games, and in my opinion, I feel like a mechanic like the buster shot, uh, the buster trigger, or the shot triggers with having the shields go to graveyard is very good for competitive viability. To put, to quote Solemn Vanguard, the more RNG reliant a game is, the less competitive it is. This is the reason why Uno doesn't really have a competitive scene. It is possible to make a fun game with a bunch of RNG, like I'm not saying Uno is a bad game, I love Uno, Uno is a great family game, but if you're trying to make a competitive game, then you should try and stay as far away from RNG mechanics as humanly possible. It is possible to make a comeback mechanic that is not RNG reliant and can still give the losing player a touch, such as, you know, Battle Spirits' core system or the shield system from Duel Masters, I keep, say I keep saying this, man. Unfortunately, I don't think the life system in this game does that very effectively, but that's just the setup. Now we get to the actual gameplay. At the start of your turn in a game of Build Divide, you go through some phases as you do in any card game. You start off by going through your stand phase, which is where you stand all your stuff, and uh, I mean, if the game didn't have this, it would be revolutionary, but it would also be terrible. <laughs> then you go to your draw phase, where you draw a card, but the first player skips it. This is once again very industry standard, and I'm not gonna say, oh, it's just like Yu-Gi-Oh! or Duel Masters of Magic. Uh, this is something that every card game has, this is completely fine to have. Now we go to the main phase where you can do any of the following things in any order. You can set an energy from your hand, so put a card from your hand into your energy zone, or you can play a card by paying its cost. And that's about it. Playing a card is very simple. You have to use a certain color uh, depending on the card, and then you can use any number of colors depending on the card as well. So you put the unit into play, you cast the spell, you do the thing, bada bing bada boom. However, units don't get summoning sickness in this game, and that's where we go to the battle phase. Battle phase kind of goes like this. You attack the player or one of their arrested units. Seems pretty Duel Masters, doesn't it? Man, I, I've been saying Duel Masters a lot this video. I wonder why. The opponent is allowed to block with another standing unit. It doesn't matter what you attack, they can block with something else entirely. And then if the two units battle, there's a power comparison, lower one dies, blah blah blah, but if it isn't blocked and it hits a player, they take damage equal to the damage value, or I'm just gonna keep calling it the critical. And then the life gets discarded, if there's a buster trigger, you take another damage, and then you take another damage, and then you take another damage. Jokes aside, you already know how life checking works in this game. And in concept, I'm not a huge fan of any of this. <laughs> because in concept, this just sounds like, why would I ever attack? Because if I attack, it gets it's gonna get sniped off the board or I, it'll get blocked and killed like this just seems like another game that's like trying to be dual master slash magic and is was made by a control player who doesn't understand that control mirrors are the most boring thing in existence like don't get me wrong i'm a control player i love control decks in every card game ever but i'm telling you right now the instant this game gets an aggro deck that's faster than every deck in the game um there's gonna be a few problems this is more of a personal philosophy but i believe that any game should have a fast paced core mechanic uh but have slow paced card design that way, if an aggro deck does come out, uh, every deck can kind of adapt to deal with the aggro deck speed. Here, every deck is kind of going to be inherently slow because of the game's mechanics, so if a fast deck comes out, oh god no. And as if there was even more reason for me to never attack, there are swift spells in this game, so like flash and magic, or instance as you want to call them. So this just seems like an unholy combination of magic and duel masters being smashed together, and do not get me wrong. I'm a very big fan of that idea. I think having a more skillful version of Duel Masters where the shields still go to hand, but you have anything as a blocker, and you have swift spells that you can cast on the opponent's turn, that sort of stuff is awesome and makes shield triggers a lot less impactful in the game. But then this game kind of messes it up by throwing in the buster triggers and, you know, making all the shields go to graveyard and making it so that there's no reason to ever attack. Like, there's a lot that this game is doing wrong, I feel, but again, like I said, the card design might be able to solve that. So I'm going to talk a little more about the card design now. Now, if there's one thing I will give this game credit for, it's that the starter deck cards costs, for the most part, 
seem relatively low compared to most card games. Like, the cover cards of both uh, starter decks are five drops, which in most card games like Magic or Duel Masters, five drops are pretty late in the game, but here, that's a turn three play. And so I think the pace of the game could possibly be saved by having low mana costs on the cards. The black deck is all about milling yourself, and if there is a buster trigger, then you kind of get a negative effect, but if there isn't, you get a positive effect. Think of it like the Great Nature Lottery mechanic, only except one of the effects are good instead of both of them being a benefit. And I was never a fan of effects like this. Like, does anyone here remember Arcana Force from Yu-Gi-Oh? No? All right, didn't think so. The Lionel deck is actually far more interesting, and I really like this card in concept. What this guy says is if he wins a battle, he can restand once per turn, and that's pretty cool, honestly. It lets you play a little aggressively and also defensively, or just going all in and killing two units. Uh, you can also just go for life twice. He only has a damage value of one, so... But if he dies, you can pay a cost of three in order to revive him, and I really like the fact- I, I really think you can make a really cool control deck out of this guy, depending once again on what the card pool gives us. I'm just saying, like, there's a lot of really cool and interesting ideas here, and I really want to be excited for this game, but the RNG mechanics based on the life deck is just- Oh, man. Like I said, if the shields went to hand, there would be no problem here. And if the buster triggers were gone, there'd be no problem here. Literally only those two mechanics needed to be changed, and I think this would be a 10 out of 10 card game. But unlike Overdress, where it's a 10 out of 10 card game and the over trigger is making it a 7 out of 10, I feel like the buster trigger and the shield is going to make this from a 10 out of 10 game into more like a 5 or a 4 out of 10. It really depends on the card design, and I don't like the fact that the black deck is entirely RNG reliant. I think the red deck is literally the best one, but only because it's not RNG reliant. Like, in case you haven't noticed, I think RNG is really bad for card games because it's already inherently RNG by being a trading card game. So adding any more to that is just not helpful. However, I will say we do have proxies on untap.in, a website for playing trading card games that may or may not have an official simulator yet. So if you have a card game you want to try out, you can go use untap.in, but someone put the build divide proxies up and uh, I decided that, you know, I've been talking a lot of garbage this entire video, you know, saying the game's really bad, but why don't we, uh, why don't we sit down for a little bit? I'm going to bring a good friend of mine into the video and let's play a few games and see what happens so enjoy the content that i farmed from my friends and uh we'll be back to your regularly scheduled lectures in a little bit all right oh, uh, you ready to you ready to play like uh the the best uh the best card game ever created dude you ready? no no i don't want to play this <laughs> no yes you do yes you do you want to play this game this game is the next step in uh competitive card games yeah right no. yeah mm -hmm. this is that's what that's what anaplex is marketing it at so it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be a really fun game i hope you're gonna have a fun experience uh good luck to you buddy i hope you're ready okay so um this is a uh, this is gonna be a really simple game i'm playing the red deck and you're playing the black deck yes yep okay okay cool this is gonna be really fun we'll do some red mirror matches afterwards because i thought the black one is just rng dot deck uh setting i don't even think the black one's that good i think it's just straight up bad <laughs> no it's terrible it's absolutely terrible we played a few games what last night we, we just determined mm -hmm. that this is terrible uh setting my territory face down good luck have fun we draw five cards for our starting hand wow this is pretty good i'm gonna keep literally all of these cards <laughs> You have to yeah, in your entire I, hand, I love though. having the mulligan the entire hand, so like I can't even do anything about it. Is it all mm -hmm. bot deck, and then I shuffle, or do yeah, I just? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Oh, uh, look, I don't know how actual mulligan rulings work. They haven't really um uh, told us that yet. All right. But, well, yeah. I'm just gonna. Okay. It's, 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 it's the mulligan. It probably doesn't matter in the end anyway. All it's right. uh, it's probably slightly more playable. Yeah, probably. Uh, I love good, now we put ten lives down. Ten. Ten cards from our deck, by the way, face down, to never be seen again. 10 cards. Listen, listen, no, it's fine. It's just like, it's just like, uh, like, you remember the G op mile starter? That just like, if you hit, you look at top 10 for two op miles? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just that. It's oh, just that. It's, it's, it's just that. Well, that's that's, that's, that's really interesting uh, card design, honestly. What's that, what's that one card that banishes 10 to draw two and yeah. you yell? Uh, it's like uh, Pot of Desire. This is just Pot of, dude, literally this game has built in Pot of Desires. That's why it's so bad. Because Pot of Desires is a minus nine. Draws, Pot of Desires draws zero. Pot of Desires draws yeah, zero. Pot of, zero. Pot of Desires draws zero. No, no, you draw two because two cards go in the mana zone afterwards. Oh yeah, true. This is Yo. this game literally has pot of desires, dude. <laughs> Can't believe they actually planned ahead. Okay, uh, now we do a dice roll. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll a d20. I got a 13, buddy. What'd you get? I got a no. four. Lol, dude. Go second, buddy. Uh, good luck, have fun. Love one tap. Not as much fun as me though. Um, I will. Uh, I don't draw for start start of turns. So I'll play. I'll just play this and I'll pass. Have fun, buddy. That was really that was a really interesting opening move. Honestly, like it, it really um it really shows how engaging the mechanics of the game are. It's fine. It's only the first turn. You just it's only the first turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first turn's supposed to be really slow and boring, right? Okay, but unironically, I think I finally fixed this. Maybe it's not that the game is bad. Maybe we both just kind of turbo break last time. Okay. We didn't I'm turbo gonna... break. We just... No, we didn't turbo break. I'm gonna draw a card. 
So you're gonna draw a card, that's right, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm plus one, it's fine. Okay. Um, Should I bounce it to your hand? That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack you, just because I'm gonna hope you're gonna, that you- You're gonna attack, okay, sure. Uh, re reveal one, uh-oh, it goes to the discard pile. Dang it, he didn't take five damage for no reason. <laughs> uh, okay, draw a card. Punished. Draw a card, I'm very good at the game. Uh, I, I, I charge, uh, I summon- uh, Quibble Hedgehog in attack mode. Uh, Love I'm Quibble going to uh, use Quibble Hedgehog to attack your your blue thing. Die, please. Okay, cool. Go, go to graveyard, yeah. please. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'll pass turn. Wait, don't I, I take? Turn. Like, oh, I don't take damage from this, right? No, you don't take damage from that. No, no, no. I just, I just, I just hit your dude. Yeah, any creature in this blo in this game can block and, and not only that. Uh, but I can hit your tap dudes. So if it's not tapped, I can I can still have not, play. If it's not tapped, you cannot attack it. Cool. So I'm just gonna play this. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pray that you don't have anything so I can actually play the game next turn. Because I'm already at 20 cards in deck, and that means I'm already at severely a disadvantage once I start hey, mailing. Hey BB. Hey BB. Hey BB. Hey BB. I swear to God, no, no, please don't bounce. No, <laughs> I've done nothing wrong, sir. <laughs> Please, I just wanted to eat pizza for two seconds. <laughs> hey, hey, baby, guess what? Guess what, buddy? Guess what, buddy? Guess what? You need you, this is a guess. This is a guess. What you need? You need to guess. Guess what? Guess what's gonna happen? Uh, you didn't draw the card. You didn't draw the the pay zero. No. Uh, go back to hand, please. <laughs> I'm gonna cope. I'm gonna cope. <laughs> Oh my god, what a miserable game. I'm just gonna pass, dude. I don't want you attacking my hedgehog. I kind of need that. Oh yeah, shoot. I, now I have to kill your stupid thing. Yeah. Oh, wait, shoot. This game isn't supposed to be like this. Yeah. yeah I didn't kill it. Or else next turn I open my, I, my territory and I win the game. Alright. It's really interesting. You're gonna, you're gonna actually kill pay, it? Pay, 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 pay. Okay, that's pay. my hedgehog. That was really cool, dude. Yeah, right? No, I pass. Because okay. I have nothing left. This is so fun. I'm having a lot of fun right now, dude. Are you having fun? I think the spells are way too overcosted, dude. I think the spells would be much more tolerable if they were like one or two costs. Because right now it's just me and you passing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One mana nuka thing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, no, but it would be more tolerable, and also like it would be fine considering this game's stupid rule sets. Okay, dude, we literally started recording this game to show how bad it was, and we've had a very fun and interactive game so far. Yes. I mean, we have done interaction where we both popped the thing. There has been player interaction. Player interaction has occurred. It's Would you not, like to attack it's with that? It's not as bad. It's not as bad. It could be worse. You could have an Omni game. I could have an Omni game. That is true. Uh, we're going to summon uh, uh, no, Wabbit. No, you're not. Please. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, wait, what? Oh, uh oh. Uh, Wabbit's gonna uh, give me energy. Look at that. I mana ramped by paying a life. Oh, it was a buster. Oh. Yeah, really cool. I don't take damage because uh, I, I got the thing. Really freaking cool, dude. Uh, I'm gonna pass turn. Untap's having a glitch. There's just randomly a bunny on the corner of your board for some reason. I'm just gonna... You know what? It, it's in the center for of your board for me. Your oh, it's in the center of my board for um, for me, too. It just made a copy over on your end because Untap has no potential. Okay, draw one. Mm, this is a good freaking solid, dude. I will say, the pizza I made, well, it's pretty bad. It's not the worst. Okay, cool. That means I can finally play this card. Jesus Christ. Yep, pay five. Pay five, right? Open your territory. Wow, it means like, I guess it means you win the game now, right? No, no, it doesn't. It just means I'm going to pray. Okay, cool. When I open the set, <laughs> I'm going to. Okay, how, how much do we believe in Jesus? Um, that's one. That's, that's two. Cool. That's zero. Get I get the Nuka thing. That's so awesome. Cool. Wow. I finally get to play the game. That's so cool. You RNG yeah. your way to killing a thing. That's really cool, honestly. Um, I'm going to pay two and summon a soldier from war that shall not be named. Um, <laughs> as, to, as to prevent... um. Uh, yeah, demonetization. De demonetization, demonetization. Yeah, of course, because we're really yeah, worried about yeah. me getting that YouTube money, right? Yeah, right. Yep. Uh, we're really, after really all, worried about I, that YouTube money. I Smith is a corporate chill, confirmed. Uh, oh, uh oh, one. I take another oh, damage. Oh, take two, take two. Oh, Dang. I need to play the thing. Uh, I uh, rest your dude. I, I rest your oh. soldier from unnamed war, and I draw a card. Alrighty. That's really cool, honestly. He's, he's my turn. Uh, that kind of just does end my turn, huh? It does just end your turn. Is it really cool that it just ends your turn, dude? I really like this. Wow, this is actually really funny. Are you ready to see something cool, dude? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Chunky no. Ele big elephant man. Oh. I thought this oh, was wait. The it's a. Uh, oh wait, it's it's a territory effect. Whoops, that doesn't do anything. We're gonna not do that instead. That's a terrible idea. Uh, okay. we're going to you don't want to call that. Big Chungus? You don't want to no, call we're going to charge Chungus? Big Chungus. It's a territory effect. I don't have my territory up. It's bad. Uh, we're going to pass That's turn. That's a vanilla beats her, too. Oh, okay, dude. Yeah, beat, beat past turn, yes. Okay, draw. I'll put in this. This is the only card who I legitimately like the art of. Um, this card right here. It's pretty cool. It's not that bad. Oh, draw another card. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. No, I get to draw another card. It also has plus three. Also, oh wait, I forgot to do the beginning of my main. No, 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 you missed effect. No, it's it's it's, it's too late. You missed timing. Too All right. Late. It's too late. 
Wait, no, it's automatic. I kind of have to. No, no, no. You may. It says you may. Oh, know. it says you may? Okay, okay, then we're good. Have you been milling too the whole time thinking it was mandatory? Uh, in the first game we played yesterday? Yes. <laughs> um, what do you do now? I'm gonna keep aggro on you, dude. Right, you wait, 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 wait. Uh oh, that's not a buster. I really need these next five cards uh -oh, to be busters. That's not a buster. Please, please sir. Uh oh, that's buster. not a buster. Look at that. Wait, it's like wow. your third poppy, dude. Oh, this wait. is so cool. I'm losing so many life points for no reason. No, it's because I'm aggroing you and you have no board. <laughs> Shut up. You're out. You're you're dumb dumb. All right, are you ready for haha -ha funny memes? Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to summon Big Chungus and I'm going to open my territory. Uh, quickie. Wait, what? Bing bong. What? I'll yep, put it back nope, on top of my nope. deck. You know what? I'll, no, I'll, instead of opening territory, I'll put it back on top of my deck. Screw you. Okay. Okay. Big yeah, 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 yeah. It goes back to yeah, 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 yeah. My yeah, card yeah. now. My card now, idiot. All right. Okay, dude. What do you do with no board? And I swing for face plus three. One. Um, <laughs> oh, I gotta put a card in. Here. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get a Buster. Yep. That's just yep. death. Yep. 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 yep, yep. Just yep. Okay. Yep, 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 Wait. This, see, see, this deck isn't bad if you just. Never activate this card. Yeah, so yeah just don't activate your territory at all. And the card's fine. If you don't mill, the deck is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, game two, buddy. Game two. Oh, buddy. Hi, Toyo. We're playing. We're playing build divide for content. Oh, hey, look, a friend yeah. of mine has arrived. I'm gonna turn him up on Discord because uh, you can't hear him currently because he's very quiet. What? You're very quiet. You're you're very quiet, Toyo. Oh, I'm grabbing. Uh, Ty's grabbing like um uh, audio and yeah, I'm like, recording visuals for right? his build divide video. I was gonna say it might just be because I'm uh I'm speaking quiet. Ah, oh, yeah, fair. Imagine speaking quiet. Couldn't be me, Chief. All right, game two, buddy. Okay. I'm, you... I'm looking for a new manga to read. How about you try reading, uh... Oh, 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 have you, um, have you heard this really cool manga called, uh, Shoyu? It's a really cool manga. Yeah, I'll show you these nuts. <laughs> and that's where we play the air horn. Yeah, that's where we play the air horn. <laughs> I love when the cards just explode all over the board. Yeah, I love when reason. like I love when Untap has like a bukake all over the friggin' table with the cards. Wow, like, that's the Fly worst spirit I've ever seen. Dude, because wow, now this is so Whoa, nice removal spells in your starting mana, dude. There, who knows how many other removal spells are in your like ten life, dude? Because you're taking twelve cards out of your effing deck at the start of the game. Yeah, right. Okay, right, cool. Me, me go first again. Me go first again. Here you go. Here you go. Okay, uh, I play this, and then uh, I play this, and what this card does is it puts my life into my energy. Ooh, look at that. That's really cool. Wow, I got rid of a shield trigger. Oh man, I really would have been cool to have to draw or like not use that effect on. Okay, cool. Our uh, energy draw. mechanics are cool, dude. All right, uh, we're gonna attack one of your one of your shields. Take a damage, please. It's gonna be really cool. Watch this. Oh my God, it's a Buster. You take another damage. Oh, it's a Buster. Myself. You take another damage. I'm gonna kill myself. What's another? Mm -hmm. shush, shush, shush. One more. One more. Do one more. Do one more. Oh, it's not a Buster. You don't take another damage. I thought I was about to commit a war crime. Yeah, I, you take three damage from one attack. It's really cool, know, dude. I don't know who could have thought of that mechanic. That mechanic is really cool and interesting. I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. I'm just looking at my board and I'm wondering where did it all go wrong. It, it all went wrong. wrong. What would you do? No, it all, no, here, it all you, went wrong. If you play, if you play another bounce to my hand, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scream. I will kill it on your turn. <laughs> no, I hate no. you. I hate you. <laughs> Evie, you know I've done nothing wrong, man. I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> oh wait, no, I can't even respond to that because I don't have enough mana. I love this. Yeah, but I love this, this game is fun. Yeah. Here, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna swing again. It's gonna hit like uh, three of your cards. Literally, whoever goes for like it's not even whoever goes first because I went second last time. Yeah, so but I'm gonna stop trying to I'm, not, I'm gonna stop trying to shotgun the territory and see what happens. We're gonna play the three drop. The thing is, it's four. I don't even think that's the right play. Uh, I think it's just more like whoever gets tempo first Ooh, automatically wins. A trigger. That's so cool. Wow. I'm fine with this. Okay, wow, listen, triggers are fine. Trigger? I'm just it's not really fine. Cool, dude. I'm just not fine with the crits being inside of my deck. Okay, um, well, that's three of your four removal spells just gone. Because I know this yeah, deck right? play three of Hey there, guys. Oh, hi, Rock, and you've joined us to see more games of Build Divide. Come, please, witness this cancer. No, uh, I just wanted to come and see what was up, but now that I know that that's happening, I, I would rather just leave. <laughs> oh, no, dude, we're recording for YouTube. You should come join us. Yeah, uh, no. you you're, you're, on YouTube, you're on YouTube, just, Rocket. Say hello to YouTube. Oh, I'm on YouTube? Oh, God. Oh, the pressure. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, so I just want to... I want to plug uh, B's best deck, you know, on that guy. Hey, it's oh me. If you've God. seen that video, yes. you know, on guys, that guy. Guys, please, so, put in the, uh, please bully Ty in the comments to put a peep top five for B's. Yeah, it doesn't matter what the context the of this is. You don't have to understand what's going on. You just have to say it so Ty feels peer pressure. Um... Okay, cool. Now, now I can proceed. Okay, um, I'm gonna... I do have one card in hand, so I kind of have to pay one to minus three on this, and then swing and pray. Uh, okay, so in response to the one, I'm going to rest your dude and draw a card. I hate you. It's really cool. 
It's really cool. I'm having, I'm having a blast right now. Wait, you draw a card? Oh my god, it draws you a card. That's so busted. Yeah, it draws two, dude. It's awesome. Get rid of your card. It's my Rest oh. your dude. Rest your dude. Your dude is Oh, yeah, dude. yeah. That's a thing that happens. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. yep. I think... I think the red deck is just like so much better. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, it is. By like uh, like an like not even not even like a country mile. This thing is like a whole fucking 80 acres better. <laughs> oh, oh you, have acres. you have the specified, dude. Uh, I did. Get, we can get rid of this and then we can summon uh, the the rabbit girl again. She's going to give me another energy, so I'm just going to keep ramping, dude. Whoa, that's really cool. I lost another shield trigger. Whoa. Uh, we're going to kill your dude. How's that sound? So Ty, um, like I want to cry. And then I'll swing one face just to, just because um, uh, if I hit Buster, you die. Oh, oh I didn't no. hit Buster. Uh -oh. oh, and it doesn't do anything because I can give you minus one hit, but literally, what does that do? Yep, exactly. Bye bye, past turn. Me done ya. Me done now. I love the nuance. So what's what's fun. the name for the monsters in this game? Uh, they're called units. Units. So Ooh. this one, this this one unit I re you have right here. What is it? A grade three? Is that what you would call it? It's a three. Uh, no, stop it. No, there will be no Bastion jokes on this video. No, it's not a Bastion joke. No. I'm just curious. Nope. So, Bastion, so the way Bastion. the dam so the way the damage works in this is like so. There's the three, no, and there's no, a one, and then there's a two. You know, so, so what's the, one the, the two, damage? The one and the two are the cost. So one and two Big is how much color you need, and the two is how much generic you need, and the three is the total. And then the damage is next to the power. So this guy's hit point is one. Uh, the bunny, one. for example, is one hit point because it has three thousand power and one hit point. When it's placed, you can scry three. Oh, only when you have your territory up, though. Yeah. So this card's a vanilla because I didn't draw the funny card. You can, you can See, still be, you can still not be blocked. You can still attack for two. Yeah. No. My problem with this card, I, I think my greatest problem with build divide so far is territories are a cool idea. Don't get me wrong. The problem is if you don't draw the necessary pieces, you just don't use them. Exactly. Which sucks. And the no only reason that no it's not as bad in this situation is because you haven't hit yours either. It's very true. It's very true. Two faced. Two faced. Yeah, okay, no. Two. It's one. like Yu Gi Oh! Uh -oh where you just damage. draw one every damage. turn. Right? Okay, that's uh -oh, three. Okay, go back, back back on the top of your deck, please. Oh, I love putting things on top of my. I love not. I love never being able uh -oh, to like more advance. Damage. Uh oh, four, uh oh, more four, damage. Uh oh, more damage. Uh oh, you just dealt five with one hit. What the heck, dude? Oh, sorry. You should have played you around, bro. Yeah, yeah, suddenly, you suddenly, have suddenly, I, suddenly, I'm no longer winning. What the heck is? Actually, wait, no, no. If there's a Buster in there, I can actually win the game right now. Here we go. I hate you. I hate you so much. There's Don't a do this in there, to I me. I can win the game right now. Let's do it. Okay. Um, summon. No, it's fine. I'll, I'll hit the one that says man burst Buster. I get, can't believe I'm about to get burst Buster. Okay, that's one. Uh huh. That's. Oh. oh. oh uh, this is hit. zero crit. Zero okay, crit, bro. Okay. One crit, please. Okay, cool. Uh, no get three buster, buster get please. Get two buster. No! Hit buster! No. Oh, sorry. You're bad at this game. I guess that means you're just going to top deck your dude, not be able to block it, and then I'm just going to die. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six in here. What happened to, like, the player... What happened to red being the better deck? Like, I've lost two games in a, go in a row now. Like, what the heck? I think, I think it's just... No, no, no. I think I legitimately found the answer, is, and it is... Black just should never open this. If you don't touch it, it's fine. Don't touch the territory? Fair enough. Yep. Uh, two face. Okay, so... And in Matthew, no, Buster, please, you, you, please hit one Buster. Please, one Buster, bro. If I hit one Buster, I die. Yeah, dude. Oh Buster! my god! Buster! You've been first um, Buster! That was really, yeah, that was really cool. Uh, game three? Yeah, dude. Sure, sure, dude. Oh, Ty, what, so, what? What the, so what the problem is, is clearly that you've just been outskilled, because when you stacked your life, uh, it was just full of Busters. Dude, yeah, dude. Really? I, I think the, I think the solution here is just maybe you shouldn't have eight busters in your team. No, no, no. You, yeah. The solution is clearly don't draw the busters to life points. Obviously, that's the problem. Man, that, that's have, a, man, you man, remember man, when that? I dealt five with the first one, and then we dealt three, like eight damage. Okay, for like there was eight damage and two attacks from that six cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And four, and like half of it was just you hitting crits. It was really cool. Um, do you want to play? Dude, let's do this again, buddy. That was, that was really fun. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, you want to go first again, dude, or do I you want like me to, to go, go first? first again? Going first is the play, dude. I literally get a uh, head start on mana and removal. Smile. <laughs> I don't even think you should. I don't even think you need to go first because red can literally ramp, dude. Is this correct? I feel, oh, you, one of my cards is just over here. It's for just no over reason. my side of the field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, starting energy now. Uh, good luck. Have fun. Hopefully, not as much fun as me. Uh, or which is you know not no 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 fun at all. This game's terrible. Thank God we both got one removal and one boss out. That means that we're both gonna have a bad time. Yeah. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Okay, buddy. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, here okay. you go. Uh, I'm going to... This is going to be really suspect. Uh, I'm going to restrain the three and play this and get an, uh, get an energy. Go ahead, buddy. Oh, hey, look, I hit a trigger. I hit a trigger. That's really cool. Yeah, I am ramping. Ramping is really cool, especially when it's done from your fucking life points. Hey, man. I mean, it's fair. I mean, it's fair. Isn't that why you guys play, like, um... What's the Solemn card? What's the Trap card? So solemn Judgment? Solemn Warning? Yeah, solemn that's strike. why we play Judgment. That's why we yeah, play Judgment. okay, I don't think ramping is equivalent to negating a fucking summon. No, it's the same thing. Yeah, but it's <laughs> a little different. Oh, it's a little different, different dude. No, 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 right, no you way. You want no to, way. You want to no swing way. into life? You want to swing into life, yes? I would like to swing into life. Okay, I would like you to damage. hit like... Oh my okay. god, one. Okay, now do it nine times. Now no, do it nine I only did it once. I, I'm down to th Dang, eight already, it, dude. He didn't die from swing once. <laughs> that was really cool, dude. Um, We're gonna like uh, cringe and have a cringe party. This is what's gonna happen here. You know what? I hate myself so much. We're gonna like do the whole life thing again. Hello, I make more energy. You're gonna oh, kill yourself. Oh, yes, I hit a buster. Yes, yes, that means I, I, no, I don't die now. Uh, suffer, please. I would like you to die. I will say, like, okay, the more I look at this art, the more I, I can, like, live with it. It's just, there's... Okay, so we have, let's see, futuristic Middle Eater Eastern Warfare soldiers. Uh, uh, I love Royal Paladin. Yeah, we have, we have, uh, uh, edgy, edgy McEdge Lords. Uh, we have the ace monster of which is literally just John Alter, but with a different costume. Uh, you have, uh, furries, which is my deck, which is really cool. I like furries. And you have angels. That's a lot of- uh, Hey, I will say, props to Build Divide, they haven't flooded their game with dragons yet. That's a- that's- that's a- that's a monumental- That's, yes. a, that's, a, that's a monumental thing. Yes. Yes, that's yes, that's yeah. something that not even you could do. Not even I could- not, not even Yu-Gi-Oh or I could, like, not fail their game with fucking dragons, because dragons are awesome. I'll swing one. Okay, cool. I can't wait to take eight. Oh! 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 Thing. oh, oh sorry, oh. sorry. Your thing has been nuclear by my tactical nuke. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get rid of your fucking trigger thing, bro. <laughs> yeah, how, how do you the like trigger. your More skill. Yeah, the better player won. <laughs> Right, the, better, the better player is winning here. Cool harder. Man, you yeah, just gotta yeah. be, man. You just gotta be skilled and get no busters in your damage. Like, okay, no. That's but what I'm un saying, man. Yeah, okay, no, but unironically, Toyo has a point. If you don't have any busters in your damage, you are at such an advantage. <laughs> <laughs> no, but actually, that's what you're I mean. Draw yeah, you gotta draw another card, dude. You gotta draw another card. I'm gonna draw more. You just gotta be I, skilled and not get I, any busters. My favorite busters. card in Yu-Gi-Oh is Jar of Greed. Draw harder. It's like Cobra, draw harder. Better. Draw harder. One face. If I keep aggroing, eventually this works, right? Oh, go back to the top of the deck, buddy. Oh, I love not being able to. Pl Actually, no, that isn't completely. You get to draw a card with it as well. What the frick? Yeah, dude, you're you're right. This card does say that I get to draw two, which is already putting me at such an advantage than you. Hmm. You know what? I feel like aggroing here, dude. It's really weird in this game that how you like basically, unless you're playing a card that draws every turn. You're never getting past five hand. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna do this again. Uh, this is the third one this game. Do you think I would learn my lesson? But no, ramping is really cool, dude. Mm -hmm. Swing at a uh, swing at one of your dudes. What do you mean, one of my dudes? You your mean life things. points, you ding dong? Okay, cool. Oh, um, yep. Nope. Our tactical nuke. <sighs> Oh, I'm just too good at this game. Must be nice. So, uh, I changed my mind. Uh, black is the better deck. Yeah, clearly. Because <laughs> if, if you sack and get all the removal, it's just a better deck. Okay. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay. No, okay. No, okay. okay. You know what, Ty? Hey, Ty. Hey, Ty. So, yeah. um, I'm going to post something in uh, voice text that I want you to really look at. And tell me that this isn't, this isn't just the way you play uh, Build Divide. So, uh, if just give me one if second. It's the if it's the Cope Harder image, I'm just going to ban you right now. <laughs> oh, it's it's this, actually. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. <laughs> I'll get my phone. I'll get my phone. Oh, skill issue. <laughs> skill issue. Yeah, it's a skill. It's a skill yeah, issue. Yeah, right, this has to be in your video. You have to play this clip in your video. Skill issue? Yeah, I'll play it. I'll I play have it. to put you the gift in there. You guys swing yeah. in, buddy? Yeah. Uh, God, I actually might have. I mean, you're at four life. I may as well, right? Okay, <laughs> right. There's, no, punish, there's no punishment to attacking, it seems. Oh, go back to your... No. But, but, Ty, but Ty, I thought you said that why would you ever attack in this game? That's a good, yeah, exactly. It just seems like it's the opposite from uh from actually playing the game. It's the opposite now. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, but like, here's the thing. It doesn't matter because like, unless you literally don't have bursts in your deck. All right, here we go. We have gonna, it now. Oh, we oh. have it now. I tap everything. I play the hedgehog. Oh, no, not to hand. Not to hand. What's the flip to alternate face? It's the L. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you this L. I have opened my territory. I've done it. I have done it. I have done this thing it. is I've so broken. My... It's actually consistent too. I've I've opened my territory. I've actually opened my territory. This is really cool. Uh, they do not get uh, plus one hit, so that's that's a downside. Uh, but I will swing in one, and hope you get a bunch of buster. Yeah, this is the comeback mechanic. Oh. This is why busters are fine. Yeah, this is why busters are fine. It's a comeback mechanic. I'm gonna swing in. 
Oh, that's a buster. Oh. You should take another damage. Oh, oh that's a buster. Take another damage. Oh, buster's first. Oh, three damage. Oh, three damage. Oh, oh, only oh, three. No. And just the combat like mechanic. And just like that, I've Wait, tied the game up. Wait, how do you know if it's a buster? If it has like it a has skull, a skull on the top right side of the card. Okay. Dude, I can't believe we're really playing. I don't even. What is this card called? I need to find the name. Give me a second. I'm checking the name, okay? Because okay, this card is him. actually. Okay, yeah, dude, we're playing Nadia Beats because this card is literally the best card in the deck. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, wait. Can you kill me? Um. Hey, do you have a burst in your in your thing? I might. I might. So it's are we down to if you have a Buster, I win. If you don't, I lose again. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. gonna. I'm gonna pay six. I'm gonna summon Dark Magician in attack mode and swing direct. Oh my god! One. <gasps> Back to deck, please. Okay, but you still take the damage. Come on, come on, come on. Are yep. you fucking okay. kidding me? Cool. Are you, you kidding me? Oh my god! Owned. The last one's a person! <laughs> they were all busted. Dude, this card wins games. Okay? Why would you. See, I've, hold on, I've held on to this card this entire time, but I was like, man, I could just play Nadia. <sighs> you could just draw cards. You could just draw cards. Here's the thing. I understand why like the hand size is so low in this game now, and it's because if you literally had a hand size over five, you would deck out immediately. Yep. Yep. Because plus. And I don't think is, that's uh... a good thing. No, it's not. Uh, game four. <laughs> Are you gonna cope this hard, dude? I am coping this hard. Go. I need to cope. I, this is my copium. Ty, okay, so, so Ty, we're on game four now. Yep, we're on game four. I am currently okay. zero and three. Zero and three. Zero and three. Mm -hmm. I can't believe. Okay, Ty, if we hit six at that point, you just have to admit that you're bad at this game, and maybe you, and maybe you just need to adapt. No, I just need. Dude, I just learned to adapt. Play around, around the bursts. The play around the burst, dude. Play around the he triggers in his no, damage. Literally, no, literally, he just has to be skilled enough to not get burst. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 Ty, Ty. Like that one really smart guy on Vanguardian say, if you're scared about Zazan, just shuffle your opponent's deck so it goes to the bottom. Otherwise, known as stacking. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. That's the justification, I guess. Would you like to shuffle my deck, sir? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me, let me real let quick go. Shuffle your deck, bro. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. Unironically, here's a button. <laughs> okay, I will shuffle deck. <laughs> that quest shuffle, dude. Please, there you go. Please shuffle deck, please. please now, shuffle. now you won't break copium. Okay, do you want me to go first this time, or do you still want to go first? I, I'm still going first. first, dude. Screw you. No. <laughs> Guys, the fourth time going first must be the answer. It must be the answer. This must be the format. I'm, no, I'm, I would just I'm like to say real quick convinced. that I wouldn't have lost that last game if he didn't ramp. Yo, true! Yeah, I shotgun the bunny girl, so I'm gonna like not do that from now on. I was trying to hit 10 so I could just go ace into territory. I will say the hamster, the Mr. Mr. Hedgehog and the and the and the bunny art are actually not that bad comparatively to the rest of this game. Yeah, you wanna know what card does have bad art though? This one. Yeah, that's terrible art, dude. What is it like? I just I can't I can't stand it. So is it much. be grand is it be granddad or something? Like bruh. Yeah, no, it's like it's like an old. Hey, hey, like remember when you look. said that if I didn't do the bunny that I would I would have won that last game? Okay, he guys, you ready to see him like uh I'm like charge do it again. in? Hey, I didn't hit a buster. We're good. Oh, I did hit a buster. I did hit a buster. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, that's we'll a good save thing. one. We'll save one. Alright, All right. okay guys. You you guys ready for the nine busters in a row? Let's do it. Yep. One Dang it. Aww. That would have been that would have been really funny though. Cope. Cope, bro. Just cope. Okay, so draw. BB can kill. He's always been really good at doing that. Okay, <laughs> shut up. God, I would play this card, but it's really bad because it's overcosted. Yeah, I love playing my. I like playing my tactical airstrikes. Oh, that's just a. That's Gong actually zero a zero four. Fucking claim. Here, kill my dude. Aww. Yeah, sadly, sadly, as much as I like dealing damage in this game, sometimes not letting you get the advantage is a good thing. Okay. So we have to, we this have to is like it. literally the only way this game doesn't become a slugfest of who can swing face faster. It's just, oh wait, my opponent got more tempo, so I guess I have to swing side. Alright, here you go, boys. Big Chungus. Swing at no. your dude. Swing at your dude. You're kidding. No, big number. And when I hit, I restand, lol. Go ahead. I thought that was with territory up. Nope, the territory is the immortality effect. He just has that double it. He just has multi attack uh, as a static effect. And it's not once per turn at all? No, it is not once per turn. I am coping. Go partner. No! Do it again, bro. God, there's just no point one. in committing anything to the board that's big because it just gets wiped out, dude. There's no point. Everything, there's, like, the thing is, all the destruction spells are so free. Like, if they, like, the only reason it's, like, so exp like, the, I, I understand why this, like, the, the, like, spells are so expensive. It's because they're so good. Yeah, and this is, did, I, did you mention, did I mention that that spell of yours is also a quick speed spell? It has quick under the, under the cost. It's oh yeah, I forgot speed. I could literally just quickie. It's yeah, if we ever get to that speed, point, there's an instant actually, wait. speed fucking 
I just feel like instant game. speed doesn't matter in this game because you because like by the time you would be able to like instant speed and play a monster, oh you're gonna be at deck out. I'll pass. I'm gonna ask that you stop doing that. No, can you just play another removal spell, buddy? Gentlemen, no, to make I will. It... I will. I will copy him. Oh my god. Do it again. Hi, it sounds like you're having a great time. I'm having a fucking blast, dude. So if, their, if their power is reduced to zero, they die. Yep. Okay. All right, now, now I get to play my monster. I, I get to, I get to play Saber Altar. Uh, I'm going to rest and draw a card. Alrighty, cool. Uh, show me what card you draw that swing into it. I will, as a matter of fact. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm fucking one off. I'm so pissed off right now. Uh -oh. I've never been able to understand why, like, it's sometimes it's taken for granted that the ruling is if a thing's like power step from zero, it dies automatically. I've never understood why that was like. Ah, welcome, Mr. British Man. You are on YouTube. Say hello to YouTube. Hello. Hello. Hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> it's it's the tube of you. Hamster! Hamster! Double Hedgehog. Let's go, buddy. Okay, cool. I draw. Guys, I get to activate the, the like the R and Jesus card. Guys, I promise. I promise. I swear to oh, God I, that I, I was winning in. all I of last night. I, I promise. Do. I get activate. Yeah, okay. Do you get two Cobalt Hedgehog? Oh okay, oh, yeah. I mail two. Let's see. What did I? What did I hit? Not, oh, oh, I hit two star cards, that which is not first. One thing. Yep, I do nuke one thing. Nuke which one of, of your my dogs. hedgehogs. Do you want to nuke? Okay, I'm gonna nuke the other one because you specifically wanted to nuke that one. You're a cringe. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna face. Okay, you're gonna do one face. Okay, let's see what I get. Oh, a buster. Oh, I put that back in your deck. <laughs> oh, I love this. It's very fun. Yes. Are we having fun, kids? Are we having fun? No. no. I'm having fun. Right? No. I, I can't believe you guys aren't having fun. Uh, I'm going to open my territory, XD. There it is. My dudes are now large. Uh, we're going to swing in one. Sonic! One whole, one whole point. One whole point. One whole damage. Get, get, get a trigger. Get a trigger. Get, get a buster. Get, get a buster and keep dying, please. Give me. I think BB's Discord just I can't believe we're at that point in the game where it's just, oh. can, can Ty draw a better card than I can? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I you're swinging damage. face? No, it's face. What's the crit? What's the crit? It's one damage. One damage. One damage. It's, whole, it's only one damage. Uh, it's zero now. Oh, you're really okay. I see. All right, pass turn, buddy. Go ahead and top deck your ace. Go you ahead, top deck your ace. Idiot. You have to charge every turn. No, you do not. Okay, cool. Thank God. Well, beginning my main phase. You know my main phase. I'm gonna mill two. You hit one buster, so you take a damage. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Take a damage. Oh, poor you. You lost a life point. It's okay, Copium. Five Swift can't win, Copium. Uh oh. Uh, okay, One so uh, in response to the summon, in response to the summon, oh, oh, in response. I will okay, pay cool. two mana and nuke it. Oh, I technically I have to game. use one red, but it doesn't matter. Two mana and nuke it. All Thank right. You. This. That'd be very nice. Very fun. Very yes. fair. Very fair. Um, really like chunky elephant man. All right. Ah, uh, so this is where BB dies. Uh, he has seven life. So if he hits four busters, I win the game. <laughs> Uh, we'll swing two. Hitting four busters does not sound very hard. Uh, oh, there's one. Oh, uh, okay, you gotta take one more damage. Oh, uh, okay, if you hit four bust, three busters here, I win game. Okay, one damage. Man, okay. man. <laughs> man. <laughs> Love how the star card does nothing. Uh, I mean, I'm having a blast. I'm having a blast. I mean, he's like, what does BB do here, though? He's dead. Oh, wait, beginning of main phase, I can mill two to pray to God and. If you hit two you busters, know. you literally nuke the board. Yeah, exactly, right? Oop, you one. hit one buster, take damage. Wait, wait, wait. I don't, wait, does the bat have a buster symbol? I no, literally it can't. The, 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 the girl does. No, no, because it's like behind the red star. No, 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 the bat does not have a, have a buster. I counted. There are 16 busters, and the bat isn't one of them. Oh, yeah, no, I found a better quality scan. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, um, one damage piece. Okay. <laughs> Wow, that was fun. It doesn't do anything! Yep. Yeah. Yeah, this is really cool. Dead. How, yeah, this many, is when, how many- How many- How many- How many busters is How many busters can we hit? How many busters? This All is right, where ready, ready. One. What? Two, oh, back Dang to it. hand, please. Back to hand, please. <laughs> yep. okay. Hey, you could summon it- Wait, you could summon it main phase two for a block. Yeah, yeah sure, dude. I can summon it- But wait, there's no, no main phase two in this game! Dude, that's so cringe! No, 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 it's not even that there's no main phase two in this game, it's because it would be standing, you can't even swing at it. Exactly. You have a blocker, though. It's a blocker at that point. Oh, yeah, true. Cool. Yeah, cool. I die. All I right, care. Well, there's no uh, main phase two yo, in this game. something tells me that the people that in Japan that played this game, like, hadn't figured out how to play the game yet when they were playing this, because they're like, the games were really long and intense, and there was a lot of back and forth going on. I'm gonna swing two and win the game. <laughs> Oh, you should have swung for swung swung for one with uh. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Swing yeah, one with hedgehog. hedgehog. Yeah, you just die. I mean, Ty, this game is pretty back and forth. <laughs> this game is pretty oh, wow. back and forth with who, who summons the bigger monster first. 
Yeah, so um, now that I've won, we can officially end the end the video and say that I won all the games. Uh, there will definitely be no cut content uh, from earlier in the video, and I'm definitely not just oh, going to show no, the game where oh, I won. Are you cringe, Lord? I'm oh, you definitely cringe. not going to just show okay. the game that I won. Uh, BB, very very fun card game. Yes, we had a lot of fun. Very fun card game. The game's not the worst. Like, listen, here's mm -hmm. the thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a piece of pizza in my mouth. But like, <laughs> I have better things to be doing. Clearly. Yeah, right. Here's the thing: this game isn't the worst. It's it has potential. Don't get me wrong. I don't think it's like completely unsalvageable. I just think if the game is gonna be like this start deck format, it's gonna be really awful because it's just yeah. so slow. There's like nothing you do for the first couple turns. Realistically speaking, yeah, the by the time we got to late game and we were actually like doing some back and forth stuff, like casually, that was really fun. It was like, huh, get a buster, dude. Get a buster, dude. This is, feels like something like Vanguard, where I just take whatever Mimi deck I want to regionals and not care about winning because the competitive scene is garbage, right? Like this, this, my issue with this game is they're trying to market this as the next big thing in competitive card games. And yet it has a mechanic like Buster. this game is like, Here's the thing, if I want to play a game where like it's back and forth and then there's like a little bit of luck in between, genuinely I will go to Vanguard because that's what that game is kind of meant yeah, that's for. Yeah, that's like, the thing. That's the thing. I enjoy playing Vanguard to like its voice extent. I'm like, yeah. Like I enjoy playing like Vanguard to its like competitive extent, but like at the end of the day, we can both agree that that game truly shines when you're playing it for fun. Yes, yes. And I think this game yeah. is the same way, but unfortunately it's not going to But it comes up short way. in places where where other games don't because it's it just does so things. hard again again i'll keep saying this it's literally trying to market itself as like the next big thing in competitive card games and i feel like that's a mistake here if it was trying to market itself as something more casual then yeah I'd, I'd be down that's fine i feel like it's trying to do i feel like it's trying to capture moments from so many other card games and then it, because it's trying to implement so many ideas it just does them lackluster it wants to do the trigger system from vanguard but it does it in a way that kind of it feels bad to hit those yes it does it's terrible um yeah like, it wants to do the battle spirit mana, but it does it in a way where, like, every time that you would hit something valuable, you're just like, oh, well, I guess that's gone. Oh, yeah. my boss monster's gone. It it does these things where it's like, this is an idea that could work in, con in concept, but the way that you've implemented it doesn't work well with the rest of the systems that you want to put in together. It's just smashing a bunch of crap from other card games that they found, you know, like, one amalgamation and saying, yeah, this is a card game, right, guys? Yeah, I was gonna say, wasn't that a whole big thing about it, the main... The developer wanted to take a bunch of card game concepts and make them one. Well, the main developer of the game is the guy that made Vanguard, and that's why I'm very confused. He also, I believe he also made Duel Masters. Comment section, feel free to correct me. Uh, but that's, but if he did make Duel Masters, then I'm very confused, because, like, Duel Masters is an incredible game, and Vanguard is okay at points. Um, like, he's very clearly not incompetent, so what the hell happened here? It feels like he made the shield system in Duel Masters, if he did make Duel Masters, and he completely misunderstood what was so good about that system. What was so good about that system wasn't the shield trigger mechanic, it was the fact that the shields go to hand, which gives the player that's losing more card advantage. It feels like... I feel like this game also just suffers from a lot of, like, um, there's already so many, so much stuff on the field, from the ten shields, the two power, your five hand, your, like, you're so down in cards that like any like any kind of deck that later down the line would like to if you wanted to make a mill deck cool that deck's either gonna be busted or it's just gonna be so underpowered because you can't give it good support or you have a deck that like wants to do advantage but the only way that you can probably do advantage is like you draw a ton but then you have to send cards to the bottom of your deck to like keep yourself from milling and you're just back at the same handed size you're just like filtering out for specific cards that you want. So, uh, yeah, uh, that was a, a, f a fun uh, experience. Uh, I will never I play this game again. It, I, will, I, will probably, it. I will probably never play this game again. I'll probably I'd, never play I'd this be game fun again. trying it again when, like, more sets come out and there's actually, like, more than the start decks, but, like... I mean, the stuff that well, they've been revealing and implying already sounds like, why are you making this? Like, it's about, it has as much, it has as much, future, it, it has, it has as much future proofing as, like, um, uh, as Vanguard Overdress. Aren't there already a bunch of uh, crossover things about it. Oh yeah, they're doing collabs as well. That's how you know the card games on oh. life support is that they're already announcing collab sets. Like my thing is like the 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 one thing I don't like about the start like from trying this at least is like the start decks feel so like the red one is just objectively better. It has ramp. It has what do you mean? You so beat me three power. times. What do you mean? It's better. It's not better. Yeah, what I do you mean? Beat you three times because you drew mediocre and I just kept drawing the three cost that lets me draw a card. Drawing in this game. <laughs> is better, by the way. Oh, uh, no man. no no. Well like here's my thing. If your introduction to an like if you're trying to introduce this game to new players and it's a new game on top of that so you can't even like show players like decks that were that have been like proven to be good 
and or fun. If this is your first impression of this game, any player picking up black is gonna have a really awful time. Like, cause like, literally if I didn't have those games that we played last night, I probably would've just kept losing still here, even when I sacked. And that's just because like, it's bad. It's like, yeah. there's no, there's no point in the game where you ever want to activate this, the, the territory. Cause like the mill too, 90% of the time, you're just going to deal yourself a damage or you're just milling two to, oh, I pop a thing. So I guess that worked out. I will say, uh, I, I think like, there, there's another thing about it as well is like, we, we know, we very clearly proved that not wanting to attack is not a thing in this game. And instead yeah. it's attack as fast as humanly possible and destroy their life. Before whoever, they... whoever, it's like, um, if you've ever played like an aggro deck in Shadowverse, it, it feels like that, dude. We're like, yeah. you want to attack as fast as possible. But here's the thing, at least in Shadowverse, when you try to aggro fast, you have to aggro of cards that are really small. And those cards, like, if I try to aggro you on like turn two in Shadowverse, like, let's play, let's say I'm playing aggro sword and I summon like, and I summon like uh, a 1 1 that summons another 1 1. Cool. Those two might do two damage, but you'll definitely have some sort of out to it really fast. But this game just doesn't seem to have that, where you just kind of, if you get aggroed in the early game and your opponent, and you hit like a burst at some point, like if your opponent plays one card and hits, and you hit a burst, you are so far behind. Not only that, like, just, but the only way you can unless, get back is if unless you hit, start hitting burst too. Yeah, the only way that you can get uh, come back is if you hit the opponent and then they check a bunch of bursts, and that's the only way you're getting out of it. Like I, I literally, you like, literally go like, okay, I have one life left, but my opponent has eight. I wonder if I can do it. I don't know if I can. Believe in the heart of the cards. I'll believe in the heart of the cards. And then they just hit eight busters and you win. Like that is a completely yeah. viable scenario mm -hmm. that happens. And guess what? <laughs> but even now then, I get punished yeah. for being the good player. No, it's. It, it, I think it's even worse because here's the thing. Believe in the heart of the cards is a is like a really funny joke, but like it's something that like it's something that like casually you can like make a joke about, but you can't even make that joke in this game, or do it for like the because I feel like this game was just made for anime moments. Yeah. You can't even do that as an anime moment because here's the thing, believing in the heart of the cards or like this or like Psychology in the original series of Vanguard. Did you cut out? <laughs> Did I? You cut out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. No, no. I no. mean, okay. So let me make my point. Yep. So I was saying, part of the cards and like psychology and all that stuff from like other games is a thing where it's like you believe in yourself, you believe in the deck that you've played, and that like everything that you've done wasn't for nothing, okay? But in this game, most of the time, whenever you like sack out, it's not because of you, it's because of your opponent's cards had a really bad time. Yep. It's because your opponent's cards said, you know what? No. No, you know what? Kill yourself. And then they punch their- it's, and then they listen, punch their master. You don't believe in the heart of the cards, you believe in the heart of the cards to like, screw over your opponent. You put a hex of the cards you on believe, them. You believe- you the hex of the- the hex of the cards! You're like, Un Ironically, that is what it is. The I don't care how many the bingo cards. machine goes. Oh, you British people and your witchcraft and sorcery. You people over there I, I, in I feel like this game just witchcraft. like hurts the play, cause like, there's so much self-inflicted damage. Yeah. Yeah, you believe yeah, in like, the self-destructive like, nature like, of imagine, your opponent's imagine, deck. Yeah, imagine just going to like, exactly. like a, a competitive tournament and doing really well, and you're like in a position like, I can't possibly lose there, and, they tr and you fucking bust yourself to death immediately. And it's not like and it's not like Vanguard, where like you can check how many triggers are left in your deck, and you can check how many right, triggers right. you might possibly be looking line. at. Um, because there's no guarding in this game, so you can't like calculate numbers when it comes to triggers and shit. There's no, it, there's, it, no there's blocking, but like that, that's different than the guarding mechanic entirely. This game just feels like that one Gundam scene where it's like, I'm a genius, and then immediately goes to, oh no. <laughs> that's what it feels like. Oh. Like, you can play this game correct the entire time, and like, you can just, but because you like had a really bad top 10 at the start of the game, you're just like out. And here's the thing, that happens in Vanguard too. But you want to know what's the difference between this and Vanguard? In Vanguard, if my opponent double crits me and I'm on three, and they have a ton of crits in their deck because they haven't revealed triggers at all all game, at least could have said, eh, I could, I should have probably two to pass that. Or, um, or I should have PG'd that, okay? It's avoidable, to an extent. Yeah. You can still get sacked out. But, in, in but it's sorry, it's, like, here's what I say. In hindsight, it's avoidable. So, like, you can go, yeah, oh, I could have played that differently and expected differently. In hindsight, yeah, like, it's different. Like, yeah, like, you ever play a game of Vanguard and you, like, get critted and you get, like, double critted and you're like, that really sucks. And then 10 minutes later, you're just like, God, they really didn't reveal any crits up until that point. I really probably should have guarded considering they have, like, 20 cards in deck left. Yep. Like, in hindsight, that makes sense. But there's no way to get around that because it's automatically. Like, there's no way to plan for that. There's no way to. 
There's no way to swap the cards out in your damage zone either, other than like ramping and hoping that you hit the one I off think, the top. I think there will I think there will be a color that does that, and if there does, it's literally gonna be OTT from V series where it's like it's tier zero because it just got rid of the random chance in this game. Yeah. It's just like it, it just doesn't feel good. Yeah. It's a big old oof. But uh yeah, good, 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 good. Thank you for giving me content. Um you're you are my free content farming machine now. All of you are my content machine. Uh, I mean, wasn't that always the case? Yes, thank you for the free content. Yeah. Free, free content. Yeah, dude, he, yeah uh, let's, 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 go to, the, let's go to your comment section and write all the memes that I wrote. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. okay, buddy, yeah, okay. And uh, how, do I, how do I ban somebody? I'm gonna ban Mr. BB. Uh -huh. We're gonna ban Mr. Can't BB. Silence the, you can't silence the truth. <laughs> they hated, they hated Mr. BB because, because he told them the truth. They hated Mr. BB because they told them the truth. They hated Mr. BB. Alright, uh, I have to go to class now. Uh, you all suck. Uh, say last things for YouTube, uh, if you have them. Uh, this, this game has the potential to not be all. I don't think it'll be competitive. Okay, uh, Team Crumpets! Else? What'd you say? Team Crumpets. Team Crumpets? Shut up, English man. Alright, that's it. We banned the British man. Ban. <laughs> Goodbye. Gosh. Goodbye, Mr. British man. Goodbye. We banned the British man. We banned no, the British man. No, he's gone! We've banned him. Goodbye, Mr. British man. Okay, goodbye, everybody. I'm gonna go to class. I, I hate you all. In conclusion, no, this game is probably not good. I feel like it's trying to do a lot of the things that other trading card games are doing, like the trigger system from Vanguard or the blocking battle kind of back and forth you have with Battle Spirits and Duel Masters, or uh, it's using the shield system directly from Digimon, which was a bad idea, but I understand why now, uh, because, you know, buster triggers are a thing. And yeah, the removal in the game is just so free. Everything is kind of quick speed. It just seems like you're never really going to get a relevant turn unless you're beating someone's face in. And I will take it back now. The thing about me saying that I will never attack ever in a game, uh, I have instantly just disproved myself. Uh, it's very easy to just go full aggro because if there's a buzzer trigger, you benefit. And if there isn't, oh well. Um, yeah, uh, that's horrible. <laughs> Although I will say, like my friend BB said, it's very possible that they fix this in set one's card pool. So maybe, maybe if there's something good, I'll take a closer look. But that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys want me to make more build divide content, possibly showing off some cards, possibly playing some games and making a follow up video after set one comes out, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button down below to get some notifications about when I upload next. And if you want to help me out, you can uh, support me on Patreon, follow me on Twitter. The links are uh, up there in the video if you're looking uh, on my setup. Until next time, I am. this has been uh, Premium Chad of the Team Galaxy Brain channel and I will see you guys later. Bye bye.